The Eliza Blue situation continues to get crazier and crazier. And now we have Tim Poole blocking the quartering on not only Twitter, but all social media. And why did this happen? We don't know. This is insane that he continues to put himself in this position. Now, to be clear, Tim Poole is great at what he does. Tim Poole makes a ton of money. He makes a lot more than me, and he's far more successful than me. So he doesn't need to listen to me about anything. I am nothing. I'm a small fry compared to Tim Poole. But I have been following this story, and it's fascinating how this continues to play out. Now, I'm not speaking for the quartering. I have not talked to him about this at all. He has a full video over on his channel. So if you want to hear his take on all of this, then go check that out. I'm just telling you from my perspective. So watching all of this play out with Tim Pool and the quartering, Quartering has gone out of his way to be nice to Tim about this situation. Even when Tim Poole threw him under the bus with the Eliza Blue topic, and a top, this is a topic that Tim will not talk about. He will not talk about it at all. And it's driving his audience crazy. And they're relentless about it. And it reminds me of the Jack Murphy situation where when the whole Jack Murphy controversy happened, his entire chat went ballistic wanting him to address it and he would never do it. And it makes me like I, I don't like Tim Pool to begin with. I, I've many times people have asked me about going on his show. I have said I have no interest in going on Tim Pool's show now. For me, the smart thing would be to try and have some type of uh, connection to Tim Pool. The smart thing for me would be to go on to Tim Cast IRL. He gets 40, 50,000 people watching him. It's a huge signal boost, and he just has a ton of influence. But it doesn't change the fact that I just don't like the guy, and I have no interest in going on his show. And watching him handle the Jack Murphy situation and now this situation with Eliza Blue it does make me lose a lot of respect for him. And while I don't like him, I have always respected the business model and what he has created. But the fact that he will just tuck his tail at a controversial topic on based on people he knows, it's wild because you cover these things all day long until, of course, it has something to do with people connected to you. Now, I have a lot of people connected to me. Obviously, they don't have the same attention that some of these people do with Tim, but I have no problem, you know, giving my take on things. But why does he continue to run from these stories? But now with the situation with Jeremy, he tried to use Jeremy. He tried to use the quartering to try and not uh, deal with the Eliza Blue topic. He basically said, well, we had the quartering scheduled. Uh, we we're going to you know, talk to him about it, but he flaked out on us, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, that's not why you were having him on the show. So why couldn't you still talk about the topic even though Jeremy's not there? And he did that multiple times, which was very strange. But even after that, the quartering handled it really, really well and never went after Tim and basically said, hey, you know, I, I understand, you know, but he's been very, very nice about handling how Tim threw him under the bus. So credit to the quartering for that. My take on it is that Tim Pool is he's not going to cover this topic. I don't know if he's even going to have Tim cast news cover this topic at this point in time. There was the story uh, about his reporter, his investigative reporter going out there and covering it. But then we saw the clip of him and Eliza blue uh, on Tim cast IRL. And it was just, it was just simping all over her and how oh, wonder you're so wonderful. Eliza, you're so wonderful. And I'm like, how powerful is this chick at this point? Like how powerful is she? How well connected is she? I've covered this topic about her a few times. I haven't received any complaints like privacy complaints like the other nearly 20 YouTubers have, but they've been showing a lot of video evidence. I have not. I have not been showing anything in my videos. I've just been covering it and talking about what has happened. And now we've reached a point where Tim Pool has blocked the quartering. And I don't think we have a clear reason why. I watched the quartering's video before I did this one, and I still don't think we have a, a clear reason why. I mean, I responded and I said it. Dude is a clown. I always say I respect what he's built, but I don't like him at all. He's a coward. And then I had to post a picture of Jack Murphy, 69 for 69. Now, Jack Murphy is someone that was continuously appearing on Tim Cast IRL um, over the years until, of course, his controversy happened. And then he just disappeared. And there was never anything mentioned about it. Nothing. Never a word about it from Tim Poole, which I think is pathetic. Now, as I've said in multiple videos, 
Tim Pool is not responsible for the actions of Jack Murphy. Tim Pool is not responsible for the actions of Eliza Blue. Tim Pool is not the responsible for the actions of anyone on his team or that's ever come on his show. He's not responsible. But the fact that he won't even make a statement or even cover it, that's the problem. It's not that, that he has to answer for these individuals' actions. Tim Pool is responsible for his actions and his actions only. He is not responsible for these other people. But when he says, we don't do drama, bro, you've been in a pissing contest with Hassan for the past two weeks. You're always going at it with, uh, you know, the guy from the Young Turks, uh, like constantly. You, you were right in the middle of the Crowder Daily Wire stuff, but we don't do drama. No one believes that. No one believes that. You're always into the drama, always. And so, to me, this is just sad, uh, but funny, very funny. And I guess we'll see. But if you guys want more from this story, obviously go watch the Quarterings video. Uh, Tim Pool's not the type of guy that is going to address things. Um, and it's, it's such a strange dynamic because... Tim Pool is a very smart guy, really smart guy. And you look at his interactions with uh, when he had uh, his interactions with Jack Dorsey and uh, Vajaya or Vagina or whatever her name is from Twitter when he was on with Joe Rogan. Tim Pool was awesome in those moments. He was laser focused and he really, really lined up uh, Jack Dorsey and Vagina and just knocked them down with just hard-hitting questions and facts. He's been in this game for a long time. But when it comes to things that, I guess, it just makes you wonder, like, is there more to this? Was he more intricately involved with Jack Murphy and Eliza Blue? These are the questions that happen when you just flat out will not address something. You won't even mention it. And it's very strange. So we're going to continue to follow this, but it's very, very fun. And ultimately, no, I'm not endorsing anyone to go into Tim Pool's chat or, or anything like that. But guess what? His chat is ruthless. They've always been ruthless. They're going to be ruthless. These are your viewers. These are your viewers. And they want you to cover certain topics. And they're paying hundreds of thousands of They're paying hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars of super chats just for you to acknowledge it. And... As Quartering has said, it's a fantastic grift from Tim Pool um, to get $500 Super Chats constantly begging you to talk about something. Credit where credit is due. But it doesn't mean I have to like you, and I don't. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.